sailing towards Roses, which is in Spain, from France. <coughs> and as we sail along, every now and then you meet a piece of debris in the sea. Most of them are quite small. Little branches, pieces of wood. But every now and then, you meet a f***ing thing like this. I'm going to show you this as we go past. And it's literally a tree. A big tree. And you don't want to hit that. It's just coming up on port. Now I don't want to go too close to it, of course. But I want to get close enough so as you can see it. Make sure it's on its own. The thing about trees is that they work uh, better when they're in forests. So you can meet a few of these together. There it is. Can you see that? The size of this f***ing thing. Right? Can you see it? Can you see this thing in the water? Whoa! F*** me! Like, I mean, you don't want to hit that, do you? That is a major no-no. There she goes. That is a big yoke. Bye-bye. Checked out. It's coming in for a look. but we've caught no fish and we are approaching a town called Lucat which is on the way on our journey from Six to Rose a pleasant day but again no winds today so no sail we make our approach Les many battles. Je suis un Swiss roll. J'avais une résidence dans les forts. Lucat. Pop in for the night. Nice little marina. Got everything. Even a little bar or two, but they don't open until six, so. A couple of hours to rest, and then we'll, uh, we'll go check them out. What a morning, huh? Each morning seems nicer than the last. Beautiful. However, it's very cold. 
Look at this. Walking along the dock. Frost. Oh my god. Jack was up before us. Mr. Frost. In Portugal, of course, we don't get this either. So it's literally been years. Snow caps. Isn't that beautiful? Another one bats the dust. Sail a line from New Cat in France towards roses in Spain. We remain hopeful that we may catch a fish because we just ate the last two cans of beef bourguignon and a little fresh fish is what we are hoping for. The birds are trying to show us how it's done, but to no avail. There are simply no fish left in the Mediterranean. All right, there probably are some fish, which are just fairly poor fishermen. Isn't it beautiful though? Isn't it cool? Oh, Bailey, if you're watching this, there's probably worse ways we could spend the last 20 years of our lives. Sean Bailey, I might tell you for you've got it made. Go on, living in that penthouse on top of that big skyscraper. And why not? Mario, you had your chance to come down and join us. We did take, say, grab a flight, meet us in Marseille, but no. We got word this morning that we have two guests arriving to Barcelona. They'll be in Barcelona tonight. And we're heading for roses. Roses in Spain. Viva España. have crossed another international border and we are now in Spain. Spain, baby. Hey, hey, au revoir, France. Oh, and we're sailing into the Bay of Roses, which is in Spain. And we plan to uh, anchor in here for the night. And tomorrow, we're going to go around that headland out there. I don't know if you can see that or not. This little light. And we're going to sail south towards Barcelona. I don't know if this will come out, but here we are in the bay 
of roses I'm gonna lay me down in the bay of roses <laughs> okay you are see you all pre-dawn pre-dawn we get up and we head for Barcelona sun isn't up yet we've left the bay of roses roses behind. Nice cam seat and we're heading for the topmost corner there of Spain after leaving the Bay of Leon and then we're going to turn south towards Barcelona. We hope to be in there by this evening. And on we go. Had a croissant, a cup of tea. And I'm just waiting for the sun to come up. That's the headland. Back there is the headland from the Bay of Roses. We're now sailing due southwest. Tone off there on the right hand side, that's Palamos as we get on the coast and we're heading towards Barcelona. All the time towards Barcelona now. We reckon we'll get in at about 6 o'clock tonight. Right now it's 10 o'clock in the morning. Oh, this is kind of strange. This is just a random town on the way down the Spanish coast and it's called Blaines. And I don't know if you notice or whether you can see it properly in this, but it looks as if none of the buildings are level with each other. You cast your eye over the middle of the beach and look to the right, it looks like the buildings are leaning to the right. And on the left, they're leaning to the left. What did I drink? Weird. We're talking about different sea states. Like glass today. So smooth. It's a really nice day. It's cold, but that severe cold that we had up in the Gulf of Leon is gone. It's just so smooth. No sailing. We got the sails out a few times. There was breezes coming off the bays from inland, but nothing that was worth holding on to. And we still have the lines out, but no fish. Nothing. Hmm. The sun is out. Still. It's been a really nice day. A quick walk up the the boat well it's not quite the Amazon Basin but as the intrepid explorers make their way down the coast of Spain, we see what appears to be a city come out of the mist to greet us. High-rise buildings. Could it be the famed, elusive Barcelona? Barcelona! We're going back. And we've got a full moon. Especially for all the loonies, wherever you may be. That one's for you. And we've had a sky today that hasn't had a single cloud all day. Not a single cloud. And the sun has been with us all the way to Barcelona. And now it's going to set. She must be behind Barcelona, I mean. 
we are not a good view as we came in, but like... Mad bastards, but we reckon this guy's a mad bastard as well. Who designed and built this? Mad, mad. We're slipping into Barcelona. It's 6:45 in the evening. Of course, it's dark. We seem to arrive everywhere in the dark. And there's a swing bridge in here somewhere that we've got to negotiate. It opens every half hour, according to the book. So let's find that. in Barcelona. We thought we were safe coming in from the sea, but obviously not, because who did we meet? Dun, 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 It's a Greg, a Greg Dicker. <laughs> and in behind Greg, inside that bedroom, there's a Ruth Dicker. It's a Ruth Dicker and a Greg Dicker. <laughs> <laughs> this one's good. <laughs> the the world. mad cows are here. <laughs> Yeah, because we see you in the dark, aren't they? There we go. There we go. That's more like it. We're here. Well, fuck me. We arrived in Barcelona. I'm in that very journey tonight. You can fuck off. Get we, out there. We thought we were safe. <laughs> Save me arse. I did warn you, Joe, that things might liven up a smile. Here we go. Come here. It's very small. I like small ones. The team has expanded. The Dickers have arrived from halfway across the world to meet Siocha. She arrived to Barcelona. 